Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Katie and I'm the organic esthetician. So today we are gonna be doing a full tutorial on how to use my new MyLift Mini machine from 7E Wellness. So before we get started on the actual hands-on demo, I wanted to go over the machine with you guys so that you know how to use it. So this is the front of the device. This is what the back looks like. It has this little kickstand. You can either have it hanging off of something or resting on a table like this. Back here is where you'll have your serial number if you ever need that. At the top of your device is your lead wire. So this plugs into a little USB port here. And then this hole is for your charging cord um, when you do need to charge it. And then this is how you turn on your device. It beeps when you turn it on. And this is what the screen looks like. So it shows you how much power you have. Right now the device is paused, but if I hit run, it'll tell you that it's running. So I'm gonna keep it paused just for now. It'll show you the level that we're working on. So this is level one educate down here. We'll always start our treatments with erase. And when you hit erase, it shows you if you wanted to erase level two, it shows you that on the other side. Next, it shows the intensity level. This can be increased with this button or decreased with this arrow. And then you have the time of the treatment. You can increase time or decrease time. So your erase settings here are for lengthening the muscle. So think about lengthening the muscle, meaning that we're erasing wrinkles. So you're gonna use the erase setting, either setting one or setting two, on any area of the face that you want to address fine lines and wrinkle depth. You're going to use your probes to spread the wrinkle apart, spreading it apart this way or spreading it apart this way. After you finish doing the erase treatment, you're then going to hit educate, either one or two, depending on where you're working on on the face. And then you're going to focus on re-educating the muscle. Here we are shortening muscle length, contracting it, giving it tightening in the lift. You're gonna use level one on areas of the face that have thinner skin, like the neck and the forehead. This pulls a lower microamp. What it does is actually allow the current to penetrate the skin. When your skin is thinner, sometimes you can have trouble holding conductivity. So that's what this bar here is going to tell you. When you hit run, it's gonna start blinking. And when it's blinking, that means that you do not have conduction. So if ever you're in the middle of a treatment and this bar starts to blink, you either need to add more conductivity gel or put the device on setting one. This is how the device will look when you have conduction. Your bar will be solid. A solid bar is what you want the entire time you're using your device. If ever your device runs out of time, it'll beep to tell you that the timer's ended, but your conduction will still be active as long as the device is on run. So if you want to increase time, you can so that the device stops beeping at you. Otherwise, you can just continue with your treatment without messing with the timer. When you're finished doing your treatment, you can pause the device, and then you can turn it off by pushing the button on the top again. So those are the basics to using your MyoLift Mini at home microcurrent device. Like before I get started with my demo, I just wanted to let you guys know that Normally, my discount code with 70 Wellness gives you 5% off of your purchase over on their website. But for the month of May 2018, my code Organic Esthetician, which I'll link down below, is good for 10% off any purchase over on 70 Wellness's website. If you are thinking about purchasing a new microcurrent device or purchasing your first one, this would be a really good time to purchase because you can utilize this extra. So let's just get started. Sorry, I look a little tired. I did not sleep very much last night. Okay, so I've cleansed and toned my skin, and next you're going to layer on any serums that you wanna use. So you can use hydrating serums, brightening serums. So you use serums to address 
specific concerns that you have with your skin. It's really great to use a serum with microcurrent because microcurrent actually helps to push the product deeper into the skin, giving you better results with those products. Today I'm going to be using two serums. So the first serum is going to be an anti-wrinkle serum that utilizes neurotransmitter peptides. So these are peptides that actually work to inhibit muscle contraction. So this is like your Botox in a bottle. And I'm going to be applying this serum everywhere that I'm going to be doing my erase mode. So we're using our erase mode in parts of the face that have wrinkle depth that you want to address because during the erase mode, we're elongating the muscle. So I'm going to put it between my brows, across my forehead, around my under eye here, or if you, or if you have any crow's feet, you can address here. I'm going to put it on my upper lip and then on my chin. The next serum I'm going to put all over my face. This is going to be a firming serum. You want to look for serums that contain signaling peptides. So these are peptides that actually send signals to your cell telling it to produce more collagen and elastin and to protect and preserve the collagen and elastin that you already have. This will work really great in conjunction with our educate mode on the device. That mode works by actually lifting and tightening the muscle. On my website, I have a shop that has a curated collection of products that I recommend. I'll put links down below so that you guys can shop serums, specifically serums for anti recall and for firming the skin. So now it's time to apply your conductivity gel. So today I'm using 70 Wellness's Restore Conductivity Gel, and I'll put a link for that down below. This is a natural conductivity gel that has hyaluronic acid and a copper peptide complex. Now, if you look at the ingredients of this product, you'll see there is neroli oil in here. And so that's what I was saying before. A little bit of oil is totally fine. And now that your device actually tells you whether or not you're conducting current, it's going to allow you to play around with more options as far as conductivity and see what works best for you. So I've applied a little bit of my gel into this dish, and I'm going to brush it on using a mask brush. This is going to allow my hands to not be gunky because I'm going to need both hands to hold the electrodes when I start doing the treatment. So we're going to start with the erase mode, which addresses fine lines anywhere on the face. For me specifically, we're going to do the mouth and chin area and then move on to the forehead. So I'm going to start applying product around my mouth. I'm only going to apply product where I'm actually using device at that time so that the conductivity gel doesn't dry out. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my device using this button right up here at the top. It's going to beep on. It's on educate, so I'm going to switch it to erase, and I'm going to try it with level two. The conductivity bar isn't going to blink until you press run. So I'm going to hit run, and now it's blinking, and that means we don't have conduction. I'm going to set it down. It has this little stand, so it just rests on the counter. Now I'm going to take both of my electrodes. It doesn't matter which side you use where. And I'm going to start in the middle of my upper lip. I have conduction, and I'm going to spread them apart. So you want to put them together and then just kind of spread them apart as you glide them apart. So you're actually kind of pulling the skin apart, so you're erasing any wrinkles. So you can do that about three times. Then we're going to move to the chin. We're going to start in the center, and we're going to glide apart. And then work down to the next section. We still have conduction. Next, we're going to pull them apart this way. I'm going to start on the outside where that depressor muscle is here at the corners of the mouth. And we're going to spread it 
this way. The top electrode is moving towards my lip and the bottom electrode is moving towards my jaw. And we're just kind of, it's light pressure, but enough to really spread the skin. And you're going to do three and then move on to the next section. If you have a small chin and you don't have enough room to pull them apart, feel free to hold one probe at the top and pull the other one away from it. That works fine too. These are the movements around the chin. If you guys have horizontal lines on your neck, Feel free to do some erase movements there. You're just going to do quick ones, kind of spreading apart any lines that you might have. So you just go to where the line is, and you're just going to do these little quick movements like this. You can do this on any line that you might have on your face. So this is the area that most people are getting Botox, right? And when they get Botox, they're freezing the muscle in a relaxed state. As it's had these contractions, the muscle has actually shortened and it's scrunched up and that's what's causing all the wrinkles. So we want to relax the wrinkles and lengthen the muscle to smooth out the forehead. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. I'm gonna start in the middle of my forehead and again, just spreading the skin gently apart sliding one towards my hairline and one towards my brow. You're going to do this three times. Move on to the next section. And you can work your way all the way down if you want. Again, if you don't have enough room, hold one stationary and pull the other probe away from it. And I'm going to go to the other side. All right, next we're going to do those 11 lines. So those are those lines that come in right here between the brows. We're going to hold our probes in the center, and we're going to pull them away from each other. And you can do this three times. Now, everyone's lines are going to be different. So if you have bunny lines, like these guys right here, you can hold one probe here and one probe above and pull apart that way. Can you see? I'm going to do it on the other side too. So I'm holding one probe there, the other above, and I'm pulling apart. If your lines on your forehead um, are vertical, you would then just do some pulls this way. Next, I'm going to address these fine lines around the eye. So I'm applying my conductivity gel. Mine are a little lower. I'll be honest, they're not totally there yet, but they're starting. So I'm going to be addressing here and here. So I am starting together and I'm pulling apart. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to start together and pull apart. I might actually need to turn my setting down a little bit. I'm feeling a tiny bit of a contraction. I mentioned this earlier, but when your muscle contracts, when you get that twitch in the muscle, you're actually depleting your ATP stores as opposed to producing more ATP, which is what microcurrent is so good at. I'm just going to take my intensity and I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, 340. And we're just going to spread it apart. Go to the other side. I'm 
and then come up here and spread these guys. If you're getting a lot of contraction, just press the Erase 1 button instead of Erase 2. Okay, again, if there are any lines elsewhere on your face that you want to address, you want to pull the line apart. So if you have vertical lines here, you want to pull them apart this way. Next, we're going to run the Educate setting. So I'm going to start on my neck. Again, with all microcurrent, you want to avoid the center area of your throat because microcurrent can interfere with your thyroid, which is right here near your trachea. So I'm going to take my device and I'm going to put it on Educate Level 1 because I'm using it on my neck. Now, the neck has thinner skin, and you can actually have trouble getting conductivity on thinner areas of the face, so like across the forehead and on the neck. If you don't have a lot of extra skin there, sometimes the higher intensity of the microcurrent won't actually be able to penetrate. So using a lower setting, like Educate Level 1, will help to address these areas of thinner skin. Okay. So we're going to do a glide. I'm going to hold one probe. Just so you guys can see, I'm going to hold it like this underneath my jaw. And the other probe, I'm going to work by scooping it up. I had more skin on my neck. I could actually pick up some skin and pinch it between the probes. So if that's the case on your neck, that's perfectly fine. That's actually the best way to do it because when the probes pinch the muscle, it allows the microcurrent to be delivered straight into the belly of the muscle, and that's where the Goji tendon is. And microcurrent works by talking to the Goji tendon, telling it either to screw up and tighter or to unscrew and release and lengthen. So we're going to do three movements. and then move to the next section. When your probes start to get close together, hold them for three to five seconds. Next, I'm gonna hold one probe on the side of my neck and the other just to the outside of my trachea. And then I'm going to glide the inner probe towards the outer probe, pinching a little bit and holding. I always have trouble keeping conduction during this movement. There we go. So you see how they're pinching together. And then we're going to slide it down a little bit and do the next section. And then the last one's a little bit lower. So it's kind of, this outside probe is kind of just to the back side of your ear. And this other one's going to start right off center from your throat, glide toward the other one. It's hard to do when I'm not looking. When I do this on myself at home, I sit on the couch with a mirror, and it's really easy. So the next section is the jawline. So I'm gonna hold one probe just above the jaw, and one probe underneath, and I'm going to lift up, pinching the muscle between the two. So the rest of our movements on the face are going to be these pinching holds where one probe is stationary, the other is moving towards it, and we're pinching the muscle between them. Then you're going to move to the next section. You're not putting a lot of pressure on your top probe. It's just going to be resting on the skin 
and your bottom probe is going to be scooping up the muscle to meet it. And once you have the muscle pinched between the probes, you're going to hold for three to five seconds. If you have an area that you want to focus more attention on, you can most definitely hold the probes longer. So the next section, the, the top probe will be just under the cheekbone, and the bottom one is going to glide to it and pinch. If it's easier for you to scoop, you can hold one probe here and scoop it up like this. This is how I do it when I'm working on someone else. And the angle of this probe really helps to lift the muscle. So you can already see this little lift through my lower jaw. Next we're going to do the lip area. So one probe is going to be on the upper lip, the other probe on the chin, and it's just going to curve into it. We'll see. This is where you're going to start really tasting that metallic taste. and I like to hold these for a while. Next, the probe is going to go to the side of the nose. See? And your bottom probe is going to scoop up. I get a lot of nice lift with this movement. Okay, next you're going to hold one probe towards the back of your jaw, and the other is going to start, imagine this depressor line here coming down. You're going to use that as a mark for where to start. When your time runs out, your machine still works, but you can just increase your time. and then keep working. Okay, so one here. The other is going to start the depressor and pinch back towards it. You're going to move the top electrode up slightly. Start just above where you did last time and pinch in towards the other probe. And then you can put one towards the top of the cheekbone and come in kind of at an angle under the cheekbone. Next, you're going to do cheek pinches. The top probe is going to be just outside of your orbital bone at the top of your cheek, and the bottom probe is going to glide up to pinch the muscle between the two. Again, this top one is really gently just resting. There's not a lot of pressure. And then I'm going to repeat it a couple times. I really like these movements. I get a lot of lift and sculpting through the cheek area with this device.
If you want to address your chin and jawline, um, if you have a little bit of a double chin, microcurrent isn't going to do anything to your fat deposit. So if there's fat there, it's going to stay there. Um, but you can kind of lift this area. So keep your top probe in the center of your chin. Start just under your jawline. So we're not affecting our thyroid, which is down here. Our bottom probe is just under the chin, and it's going to slide up to meet it. And you can do that all around the jaw. if that's something that you want to address. Okay, so I have some nice lift through this lower part of my face. Now I'm just going to go in and do the last section, which is your brow. I'm going to start the probes on either end of the eyebrow, glide them towards each other, and in the middle, I'm going to lift up. Glide and lift. Outer corners towards each other and lift. Crazy, right? Then you're going to hold your stationary probe on top and your other probe underneath. I find that it's easier if you put this probe underneath, lift up your eyebrow, and then rest the other probe above it. So you're pinching that muscle. And then you're going to move to the next section. My intensity level is all the way up on Educate 2. I'm going to lift up here and then pinch this way. I don't know if you can hear that. My landlord is like dropping things on the floor above me. <laughs> so we have some nice lift. So remember how I explained your forehead and how when it contracts, that's when you're getting the wrinkle? So the way that 7E Wellness is now promoting to use the device, they're suggesting that you only do a race across your forehead. So we're elongating this muscle. I've been getting really good results without doing educate across my forehead, but if you wanted to, you would hold one probe here and glide up to meet it, pinching when you get close. But I really like the lift that I get through the brow, and I really love how smooth my forehead looks from just doing the erase setting. Okay, and the part that I do last, I am going to drop my intensity down to level one, educate. I ran out of time. Put a little time on there. Okay. And now I'm going to take one probe and set it just on the inside of my eye. And then I'm going to turn it sideways and slide from the out toward it. Here is where you're probably going to see a little strobing if you haven't seen it already. Totally normal. You're not having a seizure. Everything's fine. You just do that a couple times. This muscle goes all the way around the eye socket. So we addressed it by lifting it up here, and now we're tightening it under the eye as well. So now you can see before and after. So I have some nice lift at the brow, and I have some nice lift through this lower part of my jaw and cheek. Look at this. So crazy. Now let's be real, like my face is shaped a little funky as it is, and I have a hard time getting a good lift on this side. But I'm going to go through and do the other side off camera, and then we can see what I look like when I'm evened out. Okay, and when you're finished, you're just going to hit pause so it stops beeping at you. Pause up here at the top. 
And then when you're all done, you're going to press this button on the back of the device. And now your device is off. So you just did your first MyoLift Mini microcurrent treatment. Yay! So exciting. Now that you've finished your microcurrent treatment, you're going to rinse off your conductivity gel. You can use a hot compress or just rinse it in the sink. I find that the consistency of the Restore gel um, likes to linger on the skin. So I really like using the washcloth or hot compress to remove it so that I make sure I get all of it off. When you finish doing that, you're going to tone your skin again, apply any serums you want, and then finish with your moisturizer. And if it's daytime, use your SPF. Okay, so here's my after. So my eyebrows are now lifted so that they're pretty matched. Lifted through my cheeks. This is toned down a little. This muscle is just like, I probably should do a race over here to release my jaw a little bit. So that's both sides. The side-by-side -side comparison of me on April 6th after my very first treatment with the MyoLift. And the picture on the right is after today's treatment. So you can definitely see some lifting. Some um, I feel like my face has kind of slimmed out a little bit from that contouring. I also see quite a bit of smoothing under the eye and across the forehead. So I'm quite pleased with my results. All right, guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope that you kind of could see my results. I know that it's subtle, but I do feel like on younger skin, you know, I don't have a lot to lift. What I notice just day to day is that my skin feels firmer. Um, I feel a little tighter and more lifted just in general. One of the other things I've noticed is that I'm seeing some really great smoothing through my forehead, around my eyes, and then my upper lip as well. So I'm really happy with that erase setting. So I'm really excited for you guys to start playing around with the device and give me your feedback. Tell me how you like it. Find that the connectivity bar is making it easier for you to do your treatments. I really love hearing from you guys. I talked a little bit about peptides today in the beginning when we were talking about serum application. I'm going to link my blog post to all things peptides down below in case you want to learn more about the different types of peptides and get product recommendations for different serums that utilize various types of peptides, whether it's signaling, carrier, um, or neurotransmitter. I'm also going to put a link down below to my website's shop. And you'll be able to shop a selection of anti-wrinkle serums and firming serums if you click over and check that out. And again, I mentioned this in the beginning of my video, but for the month of May, you do get an additional 5% um, off. So a total of 10% off the device if you purchase this month using my code. So I'll put my code down there too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, I will see you all really soon. Bye.